hello hello once again thank you for tuning in and if it's the first time here my name is chandra and i hope this message blesses you or somebody out there and today's topic is marriage it's a godly institution marriage is god's idea it's created us to come here grow and multiply and one of the things that you constantly see out there is that people that have purpose people that God has anointed, people that God has chosen, they are so determined to be normal that they will try and go after normal people, they will try to get married to normal people, not understanding that normal people, they don't understand extraordinary gift. They see that, they want to destroy it, they want to sabotage it. Then why marry a warfare? Why do that to yourself? And every time when you counsel people, that's when you hear people say, every time when I try to write a book or I'm trying to be close to God, get close to God, try and do these things that are very productive to their life, my husband, my wife will start kicking off, will start doing this. Why? Because they don't understand you. They think everything is all about them. They don't understand purpose. Everything is all about them. And because they don't understand that, they will try and destroy you. Why? Because when you have oil in your life, God chose you for his purpose. And you need to understand that you cannot just marry anybody. Even though we all have greatness inside of us, I think majority of people who have been called by God and have purpose, they don't understand who they are. And I'm here to tell you that as long as, until you learn how to love yourself wholeheartedly, stop dating, stop courting, stop even, stop even settling. Just learn to love yourself or else what will happen, you start, you, you start running after these people who won't even have the ability to love you. Because even the love they have for themselves, it's immature, it's baby love. Therefore, they become self-centered. It causes them to be self-centered. It causes them to be selfish. But the Bible tells us in Romans 12, 10 that be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourself. So therefore, you spend, if you are with these people, you spend the prime time, the most important time of your life, the prime time, the time of your youth, fighting, defending yourself. Fight after fight after fight, defending yourself. When instead, you could have used that enemy, that energy to destroy the works of the enemy. You are here facing trauma after trauma after trauma, why? Because you don't know who you are. You have the wrong people in your life. The worst words of Solomon in Proverbs is that marriage, it's all about two spirits coming to together for an assignment. Marriage is a godly institution and designed for purpose. And the Bible tells us in Ephesians 4, 2-3 that be completely humble and gentle and be patient with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5.11 say, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. In other words, the Bible is trying to tell us that when you get married, you have to work together and do everything in love, which is 1 Corinthians 16, 14. And the thing is, most people, they get married and disconnect God from their marriage. And when you disconnect God from your marriage, God is going to disconnect himself from you too. You need God because marriage is God's idea and his institution. And he's supposed to be the pillar in the middle of it. And when God sent Adam, a woman, Adam 
was already in his assignment. God sent her and called her helpmate, not something else, piece of tail or whatever you want it. Marriage is not all about you getting your bills paid or you getting sex or whatever you think you're getting married for. It's all about purpose and God's will to be fulfilled. Whatever you're praying for as a person, whether you're praying to be a wife or a husband, God will never give you a wife if you're not ready to provide safety for her. And if you want to be a wife, the first thing that you need to say to yourself, let me get therapy, let me get healed, go to church, study the word, so that I can be the steward of the word. I can become what God has designed me to be. So that when I get to that realm, the realm of marriage, I'll have the substance to sustain it. I have the, the perseverance, the will to stay. I will have what it takes to stay in that marriage. But most people, they try to rush into marriage. They try to shorten their way into marriage, thinking that it's going to answer all the problems, all the void they have. That's when, in most cases, nowadays, you see lots of people in marriages frustrated. And there's lots of divorce out there. Why? Because lots of people are not doing that purpose. The enemy will give them this illusion, fantasies, full with the enemy will give you the illusion, will give them the illusion, but they have no substance to maintain or sustain that. So when I talk about substance, I'm talking about the solid foundation word of God. They have no perseverance. They have no endurance or power to stay for thick and thin. Or power to stay through for better or worse. That's what I'm talking about. And when I talk about all these things, it's, you'll find like in most cases, it's only one person that is frightened to stay in a marriage. They don't have patience to wait on what God tells them to do and wait the course of time. God has to take you through the pruning process to grow you to what you want to have or to grow into your assignment. He wants to grow your mindset, change your mindset, grow into those things that you believe in God for or else you become stagnant causing your own delay unaware or else and when you're causing this delay you will keep on crying dealing with the same thing crying about the same thing the word of god you need to understand as a child of god that the word of god is the food for your soul food for your spirit even the bible tells us to study to show yourself approved we need to study the word of God, understand those scriptures that we want to be, those scriptures that teaches us about marriage, how we can become better women, how we can be become better partners in marriage. And when we do so, we will receive that blessing from God and become that partner that God has designed us to be and become that virtuous woman or man of God. So I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, marriage is a godly institution. When Adam, when God brought Eve into the life of Adam, he was already in his assignment. And the Bible teaches us that whatever we want, we have to become that. You want to be a wife? Seek therapy. Educate yourself with the scriptures that talks about marriage. Become that person that you want to become, that you want to be. Read the word of God. Educate yourself. Change your mindset. Learn from your mistakes. Become that virtuous woman, that partner that God has designed you to be. 
then I can guarantee you, you have that willpower to stay, the willpower to fight, stay through thick and thin, for better for us, that perseverance, which is the fruit of the spirit. And I'm telling you, you will stay in your, you'll get married, you will stay in your marriage, you will enjoy it, and God will bless it. Because the Bible says that whatever Lord the Lord blesses, he adds no sorrow to it. He will bless you and you will stay for the rest of your life and be happy. So I hope you've been blessed by this message. And if you have, please like and share, subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Amen.